Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving the energy and amplitude of a wave. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get going. Question 1 says, what is the relationship between the energy of a wave and its amplitude? Well, from the notes, we can say that the energy transferred by a wave is directly proportional to the square of its amplitude. That is, we can say that E is proportional to A squared. So the bigger the amplitude, the bigger the energy, or the smaller the amplitude, the smaller the energy. Question 2 says, if the energy of a wave doubles, what happens to its amplitude? Well, remember we've got this E is proportional to A squared relationship, so it's not going to be as simple as if the energy doubles, the amplitude doubles. But we can do a calculation to find out. So what we want to do here is find an expression for A2, the final amplitude, in terms of the initial amplitude A1. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find A2. We know the final energy E2 is going to be 2 times the initial energy E1, and that's because we're told the energy of the wave doubles. And we can just leave the initial amplitude A1 as A1, and therefore writing down our equation relating the energy and amplitude of a wave that's not on your relationship sheet in the exam, we have E1 over A1 squared equals E2 over A2 squared. Remember this just tells us that energy divided by amplitude squared is equal to a constant. So what we can then do is sub in our expressions from the left, so we get E1 over A1 squared is equal to 2E1 over A2 squared. And now we can cancel the E1 terms on both sides because we've got one here and one here. So if we do that, we end up with 1 over A1 squared is equal to 2 over A2 squared. And remember, we want an expression for A2 in terms of A1. So let's just cross multiply here. So we've got 1 times A2 squared gives me A2 squared, and that's equal to 2 times A1 squared. So we get A2 squared is equal to 2A1 squared. And then we want A2 on its own, not A2 squared. So if we take the square root of both sides, we get A2 is equal to root 2 times A1. That is, we've square rooted the A1 squared as well, which has just come out to A1. So therefore, we can see the final amplitude is equal to a factor of root 2 times the initial amplitude. So therefore, we can see that doubling the energy of a wave causes the amplitude to increase by a factor of root 2. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you find it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.